Episode two of DW's Rapid Review. This is not the end. It is not even the beginning of the end. It is perhaps the end of the beginning. My name is Scott Capaletti. So excited to get into today's topic, which is digital watchdogs, new 4K AI powered self tracking PTZ. Or if you're from Canada, PTZ, they actually say that pan, tilt, and zoom camera. Today's episode, we're going to dive into a quick history of where we've been with PTZs, where we are now, and where we're going. And of course, we'll take a look at our new offering and give you all the little details and some examples of how powerful this thing is. PTZs were invented in the late 60s, early 70s. At the time, it was just the P and the T. It was just the pan and tilt. So we had this new thing with a surveillance system. But we realized very quickly that cameras, unless you just flood the area with cameras, are never pointing exactly where you want them to do when you need them to be. So we started to develop these pan and tilt, and really it was just on a tour. Eventually in the 80s, we started to put some computing power in there to program a proper tour instead of just back and forth. Around that same time, somebody threw optics in it. And what I mean by optics, I mean an optical zoom, a driven optic. Optical zoom, that's a joystick. That's the universal joystick symbol. So now you can dive in and get those finite details that we're looking for. Because if you want face shots that lead to arrests, if you want license plate shots, if you're looking for the little details, it's got to come with optics. Because even though we have megapixels now and they're phenomenal, until the world of gigapixels comes out, which is on the horizon, it's coming. I've seen some prototypes out there. It's amazing. But until that day comes, you're really relying on optics to get those finite details. So we come out with PTZs and we revel in what we've done. Joysticks are out there. Monitoring stations are using it. It's phenomenal. And then we abandon them. Why? Because we quickly realize that if we don't have somebody on site playing with it 24-7, using it. Again, it wasn't looking in the right direction. So we might have been zoomed in, we might have been parked at home. But again, if it's three o'clock in the morning and we're trying to get some detail from an unwanted person, unless you got somebody using that joystick at three o'clock in the morning, what's the point? So we got rid of them. We started selling all sorts of crazy things, a digital watchdog that we would call PTZ killers. Because what's the point of a PTZ if it's never looking in the right direction when you could do a huge panoramic megapixel camera that allows you to digitally zoom in because of the great megapixels that we were offering? Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We're back where we started. But now, thanks to AI, and AI is changing the world, it's certainly changing our industry in so many ways. But thanks to AI, the PTZs are back. Now you have the power to get all the shots you want. I mean, look at this guy. Am I looking in the right direction? Yeah, I'm looking in the right direction. Look at this guy up here. This is the monster that I've been referring to this entire time. Part number, DWC-XPZA08MI. That's right. The brand new 4K self-tracking PTZ. So let's take a deeper dive into it. Let me give you some examples and show you what this thing's capable of because it'll knock your socks off. So let's take a look. We're going to go over here to the website. First and foremost, let's look at what we have. We're dealing again with a 4K pan, tilt, and zoom camera. So before you even talk about the insane 40 times optical zoom, we're dealing with a 4K camera. That 40 times optical zoom will give you hundreds of feet of clarity before you even touch the digital zoom that you get out of this thing. It's amazing. Now, we can use the infrared light or we can use Starlight Plus giving you color and almost total darkness. But I wanted to bring this up real quick. You could see the design here. This is how it is. This is not with the dome cover off. There is no dome cover. This is all waterproof. Why? We did it like this because the last thing we want is for these infrared lights to bounce back into our insanely powerful lens. So the lens gets its own piece of glass and these are separated from, uh, separated from it completely. These lights, ladies and gentlemen, these aren't your typical 100-foot lights that you're used to, 100-foot IR lights that you're used to. 
These lights, look at this, 1,148 feet of infrared light. And not just infrared light, by the way. Look at this, smart infrared. Registered trademark of Digital Watchdog. What is smart IR? Smart IR is the optics of our cameras being intelligent enough to say, you know what? I've got so much light, it's starting to bloom. It's making it hard for me to see a face, a face shot. Let me turn down the power of the IR. And it works the other way. We zoom all the way out. Now we're using it more like a floodlight, less of a spotlight. It'll turn up the infrared light. 1,148 feet of smart IR. Again, we touched upon this. You have 40 times optical zoom and an additional 16 times digital built in. So that's not even talking about, again, the 4K. If anyone's owned a fancy schmancy camera, you've seen it where you can do an optical zoom, but then you can also digitally zoom in from the camera itself. So you put that together with the 4K digital zoom that you'll have through Spectrum and you have an insane camera. Wide dynamic range built right into it. So if you have harsh lighting, whether it's headlights coming into your view, whether you're facing a southern sky and you have the sun in your eyes the entire time, in this case, in its unblinking cycloptic eye, the entire time we have a true wide dynamic range, not electronic, true, meaning it actually will change every single pixel and look at every pixel and adapt on the fly, not just do the entire picture, which is what you get with an electronic wide dynamic range. I mean, you have all the other stuff that you're going to find with a PTZ as well. You could do your presets, your patterns, all that jazz. But really, that's what we're here to talk about. This is what's bringing PTZs back into the zeitgeist, is having auto tracking powered by analytics. Now, let's just do a quick comparison with my favorite camera that I sell every single day. And that is Digital Watchdog's 4K Vandal Ball. This guy right here. I love this. We sell this all the time. Every day, it's our number one quoted and bought camera, at least in my territory, for sure. Beautiful 4K image. You can go with a fixed lens or you can go with a varifocal lens. You have your options. The digital zoom is beautiful. The color reproduction is beautiful. And I'm going to give you an example of this in a minute as well. But I just wanted to break it down for you. Look at the differences here. So let's go right here. We can do an autofocus version or motorized zoom uh, or fixed on this guy. We're going to talk about the autofocus motorized zoom version first. What we sell every day, what people absolutely love is this guy right here. 2.7 millimeter for your wide angle shots. 13.5 millimeter when you want to get as telephotoed, is that a word? As possible. <laughs> come on, come on. We're talking 6.5 millimeter to 260 millimeter, 260 optical zoom compared to 13.5. Again, hundreds and hundreds of feet, depending on a bunch of variables, where it's mounted, how high it's mounted, all that jazz, hundreds of feet of clear, intelligible face shots. This is next level pan, tilt, and zoom, especially considering that it self-tracks. It's alive. It's in there watching at all times. That's really where I want to focus on this particular page before I show you the actual camera itself. 100%, this is not a replacement for all your regular point-and-shoot cameras. It's not. Of course it's not. But this is the ultimate supplement for your site. You put these cameras right here, every single entrance, every single door, and you will get a beautiful face shot that the police will love and thank you for. You put this for your overall situational awareness shots. I want to take a look at the parking lot and keep my eye in the parking lot at all times. But ladies and gentlemen, if you're outside protecting a parking lot and you don't have one of these on your system, what are we doing? We want to get the face shots, right? We want to get something that leads to arrest that makes the world a better place. This has the power to do that. Have these everywhere. Have at least one of these outside protecting your perimeter. You have a large warehouse, another great, I mean, a beautiful example. If you want to, I have many, many sites. I have a granite facility in Massachusetts. They have all these machines that are cutting granite, automated machines. 
they can use something like this to zoom in and get the finite details of those machines. Let's take it over to Spectrum and let's take a look at this thing live. So I asked my friend Robert Ang out of Digital Watchdog Cerritos, California corporate office if he could assist me with creating this video. And Robert did. So let's go ahead and go full screen. And uh, if something's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. A lot of us here at DW feel that way. And, and Robert is, uh, is, is definitely uh, with us on that mantra. So DW's official color is orange. And he decided for this video to go full DW orange. You gotta love it. Look how smooth it's tracking. You could see up here, we're in auto tracking mode up here. Look how smooth it's tracking. It's not the old days where it tracks a little bit, then goes and tracks a little bit, catches up. It's smooth. You can also, I'm going to pause it right here. You can also dictate how much it zooms in. So you can have it zoomed all the way in. You can have a medium shot pulled all the way out, however you want to do it. You dictate what it follows, a car or a person, and then you dictate exactly how much you can zoom in, how smooth it tracks, how long it tracks for. I mean, look at this guy, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, you got to love this guy. Let's take a look. Number one, even if his glasses were orange, by the way. So there's Robert Ang. Special shout out, Robert. Thank you so much. But look at the detail that we're getting. If you can read this, you should purchase this camera. Absolutely right. Look at the color reproduction on this camera. And again, it's doing its best to always keep us locked in, to get us that face shot. Even when Robert's in motion, look how clean and clear and smooth that is. The ultimate supplement to every single job site out there. I have other videos that I'll spare you from with Robert running around the parking lot and even with him running at top speed, it was keeping up just fine. A beautiful, beautiful camera. So now let's talk about this compared to my favorite day-to-day -day selling camera. And that would be this guy right here. And I guess my kids are using the internet right now, so it's a little bit slow. So we'll wait for it to come in. This is that 4K Vandal This is not the PTZ. This is that 4K Vandal Beautiful image. It has a digital zoom as well. I mean, look at the crispness of the shot. Beyond the fact that you're getting beautiful color reproduction. I mean, look at all the little details you get. Now, this does have a digital zoom as well. And it does have an optical zoom like we talked about. So if you wanted to, you didn't have to pull it all the way out in this wide angle shot, if you buy the varifocal version, you can dive in a little bit optically up to 12 millimeter and probably start the image right around here. But let's just keep all things equal. Point and shoot camera zoomed all the way out to get an entire parking lot. If you use digital watchdog spectrum software to dive all the way in, that's your maximum. Digital zoom right here, this is the image that you get. Again, it's not designed for that, especially the way it's set up right now in wide angle mode. It's not designed to see that far away. I mean, look how far away this is. Probably 200 feet if I had to guess. Here's the same shot you saw a moment ago from our brand new 4K self-tracking AI-powered PTZ. It's a mouthful. And here's the max digital zoom you can get after the optical zoom is done. Detail. Beyond the fact that, of course, we could see Robert's face. Of course, we gave this to the police. We got something clean that we can give him. We can even read digital watchdog on his hat. Forget about this sign. Forget about license plates. I mean, look at the detail on this image. This is what we've been waiting for. We've been waiting a long time for AI. I mean, it's been prophesized in the movies for a very long time, and now it's here. And we're at that stage of the movie where it's making the world a better place. Embrace it. Salespeople, let your end users know this exists. End users, isn't this exactly why you wanted a surveillance system in the first place? It's to capture true data, not a make and model. Yes, it was a, a human being, maybe a male. If I'm looking at this image right here, wearing all orange, uh, couldn't get the plate, couldn't tell you. To getting that kind of detail. The promise that we've made all those years ago for decades for a surveillance system can now be completely satisfied. The digital watchdog 4K self-tracking PTZ is here. Let's bring it back and let's wrap this thing up. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope 
you enjoy this video. If you want more information, if you want a proof of concept, you can even use Digital Watchdog's demo program. Contact your manufacturer reps on the screen and we can get one of these out to you. You like it, you buy it. Don't like it, send it back. But let's put this out there. Let's let people see this. If you want us to give you a similar demo to what we gave you right now, call the people you're seeing on the screen. We are here to help. We are here to help you close your sales. We are here to help make the world a better place. Is that hyperbolic sales talk? Sure it is, but it's also the truth. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I sure did. AI is probably coming out next. And Spectrum has been something that by very popular demand, I've been requested to do. So let's do AI next and then Spectrum. We have so much to get to. So little time. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you come back. Do me a favor, like and subscribe, follow, join, whatever your social media thing allows you to do. Please come on back. We'd love to have you again. Until next time, my name is Scott Capaletti, and this has been your Digital Watchdog Rapid Review.